as together. Anthony checked by Duran. Anthony falls down and he travels. It's almost like Kevin knew the exact move that Anthony was trying to execute and he cut the drive off immediately and forced Carmelo Anthony to reverse back. Anthony is slow to get up, but you know, sometimes, you know, they're going to play. Let's go. They let it go. And Smith intercepts the pass. Anthony out on the floor. What is he doing? Well, they're playing around it. And it's a travel. They call it a travel. And now Jim Gillen, the Nuggets athletic trainer, comes onto the floor. Dantley livid as he gets on to the officials here. I think the judgment of the officials was that Anthony was playing possum. And he very well may be. He may be disgusted that he did not get the call. Perhaps he bumped heads as well. Hard contact. Kevin Durant is surprisingly strong and well built. That's a neck issue. That, it, 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 you can see his head kind of go into the stomach area of Kevin Durant. No subs. Adrian Dantley is calling his players back to the bench. As now members of the Thunder medical staff also come to attend to Anthony, who can see moving his arms. Right there, you saw his head go into Kevin's stomach. And I, I believe he just got a, one of those nerve issues uh, right around the neck area. And, and that's in football, that's sometimes what you see. Because you, you saw the head go right into to Kevin's stomach. And that may have ignited a nerve somewhere in his neck or, or along his back area. And now you see Scott Brooks in conversation with the officials as Anthony is helped to his feet by Jim Gillen. What's almost more frightening than anything about this is that they continue to play around him. When the ball came back to that end, he was in a position to get stepped on. And what's amazing is that there were three Denver Nugget players down at this end of the floor with Carmelo Anthony, and yet no team was able to score.